Hi, this is Josh from Palmer Creative, and I wanted to show you my playing cards today. Uh, I've been working on these, and I'm using Google Slides for this, and I just wanted to show in this video uh, kind of how I've constructed the artwork for each card. And I'm just going to duplicate this, this king here and, so I can kind of deconstruct this to show you how it's made. Uh, basically, it's made of small shapes that just kind of stack up on top of each other. And uh, if I can ungroup this, you can see all these, uh, there's the king is grouped together. Uh, but each one of these pieces is actually just a shape that I've created using the polyline tool. Yeah, so I just select the polyline tool and start clicking to add points, create a shape. By default, it adds a stroke, and I usually just take that off, put it on transparent, and then I select my color. You can also create custom colors here, and it will add them to your uh, a little custom palette down here at the bottom. And I use photos for, for reference to start these drawings, and then um, and just kind of do the, do the rest with copy and paste and duplicate. Uh, I use the arrange tools to rotate, flip, all that stuff. Uh, the the text here is uh, the uh, word art. So if I double click here, I can quickly change that. That's how I've done it for each card. So I can just go through and make a make a, a Q for a queen and J for a jack, etc. So these have all been constructed and arranged um, and, and drawn basically completely in Google Slides, which, by the way, has all the same functions as Google Drawings with uh, the ability to have multiple pages or multiple slides uh, using this, this left-hand uh, panel over here. And yes, it's made for presentation um, creation, but uh, that doesn't mean it's the only thing you can use it for. Um, I could just click present, and now I've got a, uh, a slideshow that I can click through. So I just saw something. This diamond actually should be beneath this here, so I can change that very quickly. Just select it, and using the Control and Down key, I can put it below. So I want that texture on top, which is just a photo. Uh, I found a great photo of um, some ancient uh, stone carvings of uh, Vikings. And um, using the image tools, I've actually just put it on negative, so it inverts it. And then I've adjusted the uh, transparency just to make it a little more subtle. And so I've added that sort of the background artwork for each card so that the whole deck kind of has a, a Viking feel to it. And that's how I've, uh, I've created this uh, 52, actually there's 55 uh, cards in all, or 55 pieces in this, this deck. So there's, you know, standard 54 cards. Uh, artwork in here is uh, created here for the, uh, the back of the card. And these will be available soon. Thanks for watching.